mean a lot to everyone that has helped me along my journey from, from youth coach to middle school, high school, Ohio State, LSU, I think. It would mean a lot to a lot of people. Is Honestly, I never really thought about it. I just tried to, to do what I needed to do to win football games. And this season it was throw for 4,700 yards and, and 48 touchdowns. So, and last year it was not that. We still won a lot of games. So I, I just try to do whatever it takes. So what do you credit your just the big jump in numbers from one year to the next? year? Fifty-one percent. How beautiful and throwing this amazing rate. What, what was the big difference? Honestly, just having a, an off season with, with all the receivers and building that trust. And I know exactly when they're going to break their routes off. I know exactly where they're going to be, when they're going to be there, and they know when the ball's going to be there and when, when they get their eyes on. So that's really been the biggest factor. So, what do you feel like you have to build on? Well, I mean, this our our goal was not to be 13 you No, know, we won the win, win the national title game, and that that was the goal from the jump. And, uh, personally, I, I have a lot more goals ahead of me as well. Wait, wait. I, mean, I talked with uh, Billy Penn's daughter the other day, and she said that Billy always wanted another person to win the high school from LSU, and yet had his name. Could you possibly be that yet? What is that? You know, I, she said that he would be so happy looking down on me, and that meant so much to me. And I'm just trying to represent LSU to the best of my ability. And Whatever I can do to help help the state of Louisiana and LSU, I'm gonna do. What did you learn about Billy and Ross uh, They said he was a, a tough guy, just like me. They said we would have been just, uh, best friends, so I would have loved to meet him. He talked to your parents tomorrow night about this and how well he reacted. I know Coach shared the story about the phone call where he focused on and everything like that. But just seeing them there and knowing about the war and the war, what this could be for them. No, I haven't actually. I'm, that's probably a conversation to be had on Sunday, uh, depending on the outcome. But, you know, I, I'm sure they have their feelings that they just haven't shared with me yet. You've gone Baton Rouge, Baltimore, Atlanta now here. I mean, what has this week just been like for you going all over? It's been a long week. It's been a long week. Um, waking up super early and, and going to these wars, but, but, but it's a blessing. And you know, I couldn't have, couldn't have been here without my teammates and my coaches and, you know, from, from all the past coaches as well. What is that balance like of trying to enjoy this but also thinking about the champions, the semifinals and all that? Yeah, you know, I've kind of put that off until next week. I'm just trying to enjoy this week right now. And, you know, this is a once-in-a-lifetime experience, and I'm going to hit the film room on Monday when I get back. Do you think you are enjoying it? You're taking it in? Yeah, I'm doing my best. You know, I obviously, we're super busy, and I'm you know, kind of a chill, relaxed kind of guy. <laughs> and so I'm trying to trying to enjoy it as much as I can. Is there a reason you continue to wear the PS full jacket on? You know, that's, that's my most comfy sweatshirt, so I just, that's the one I wear. <laughs> How do you stay friendly? Because obviously, you know, people were not sure we didn't know much about you when you got here. You're going to be with LSU as part of one of the greats to have to wear the purple and gold. Is there people you talk to? Is it just your upbringing? How do you kind of put them on perspective and stay around? You know, so you come in, you come into college with, with goals of, of being a starting quarterback and then goals of winning the Heisman Trophy and then... You know, when, when that happens, you create more goals. And that's kind of what keeps me grounded. I'm, I'm striving to be the best. And I obviously haven't made it there yet, so I'm, I'm just going to keep working hard to be there. With Heisman, it comes with legacy. What do you think your legacy will be? I think that's for other people to write about. You know, I hope it's that I, I gave 100% every time I was on the field and I was a super hard worker and a great leader. That's, that's all that matters. Can you talk about the yeah, I actually haven't met him yet. I would love to do it. You know, I was an Ohio kid rooting for the Saints, so it's it was special to hear him say that he was my favorite player growing up.